Pittsburgh. Now I'll show you some of those details on snow amounts. And we have two pages worth here, so hang in there. And here in Washington, New Jersey, we've picked up 17 inches. Windsor, Connecticut, 17 inches. Long Valley, New Jersey, 16 inches. And uh, Jeffrey, New Hampshire has picked up 14 inches. Uh, Worcester, Mass, 13 inches, a little bit over a foot here. And uh, some areas here in Mass also picking up 13 inches. West Springfield, King of Prussia, right around Philadelphia, 12 inches. Lancaster, Mass, 7 inches. Boston has picked up 3 inches of snowfall. Let's show you some scenes, though, now here around Pottstown, PA. Uh, you definitely needed the boots, hats, and mittens today. If you had to get out, Pottstown drivers found it tough going on some roads in and around the Philadelphia suburb. So it's been rough, and actually, I heard a lot of schools were canceled today, but there were some that were open that actually the kids were having a hard time getting home from school this afternoon. And not only the problems with roadway problems, but uh, actually airport delays as well, even cancellations, and we'll talk about that coming up. But here's our nor'easter right here, and notice here our isobars of lines of equal pressure tightening up here from the, from, I guess, from the low on northward. And the low is deepening, so we're going to see the winds picking up through the night tonight, uh, maybe not up to 70 miles per hour, but they will be picking up. And of course, as Kristen said, the wind chill, that's something we're going to have to be concerned about in some areas this evening, even though the temperatures out there are not too bad. We really don't have a lot of cold air out there. But we do have a lot of heavy snow, and it has been coming down across the region. As you can see, even again around Boston on westward, that's where the heaviest snow band will be, up into Vermont, New Hampshire, and down east Maine. But of course, this snow, it's causing some problems out there. Again, on the roadways, it's a heavy, wet snow, but also at the airports, we have a lot of delays, cancellations, even closures. Looks like Hartford closed at this point. 400 minutes here in Boston. We're talking about six hours or so delay, six and a half hour delay. I'm sure there will be a lot of flights canceled as well. So check ahead if you're going to the airports tonight. Now again, we have seen some areas picking up, up to a foot, you know, even more than that as we talked about, 20 inches in some cases. So yes, the roadways, there could be some closures as well. I'm sure maybe some schools will be canceled or delayed again tomorrow. So be prepared parents um, in case you have to go to work. Now, we are watching again this storm heading up the coast. The wind's picking up. We have seen gale and storm warnings up along the area. The wind's gusting. Look at that. We've been picking them up. See, 38 miles per hour now here at Boston. So it is a very windy night. It's driving that snow. Visibility's maybe down as well. Again, temperature's not bad, but you factor in that wind with these temperatures in the 30s. And we have a wind chill of 3 degrees here at Boston, 14 in Bangor, 19 in New York City. So it is a blustery and cold night. Make sure you cover everything up if you have to be out. But the best advice, stay in tonight if you can. We have the forecast here, another foot or so here for eastern Maine. So 95 is going to be a mess. It looks a little bit better tomorrow here in New York City. Temperature about 32 starting out the commute. But expect some delays and expect some, uh, I guess, uh, slow commute into Manhattan. That wraps up the northeastern storm. Now let's take you on to the south. Here's Paul.